And we're back, everyone. Let's continue with the last stuff in Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. So first things first, I'm going to take care of whatever supports might be here so I can get those out of the way real quick. So this is one between her. Edelgard and Hubert. Let's see where this goes. And what of the Archbishop's movements? She has established herself in Camulus, a town south of Ferdiad, and shows no indication of leaving. The Knights of Saras occasionally go to the front, but the Archbishop appears content to remain behind. So no matter what route I pick, Rhea will go... Rhea and the Church of Saros will go to um, Camulus and the Holy Kingdom of Fargus? Well, that's good to know. A shame, really. Well, we expected as much. It's unlikely that we'll have the opportunity to eliminate her without mounting a full-scale invasion of Blafed territory. We should have surrounded Garrick Mach and torn the place apart when we had the chance, no matter the cost to us. We may have squandered our greatest chance by not doing so. Hubert, that idea came from Lord Arundel. That is to say, Tallis. And it's an impractical idea, at that. One based on unreliable experimental assets that had never been tested in battle. Besides, after breaking ties with him and his allies, we lacked the military capability to carry out an operation on such a scale. So, basically speaking, that uh, Edelgard actually going against Talus early on changed the outcome of the Battle of Garrick Mach, even though they most likely might have won that battle, I don't know. She's making it seem like they really need the Argarthans to take over the Garrick Mach, you know, monastery. But I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's dependent on how the writers want to write it off, more or less. I understand Garrick Mach is a very advantageous point with all the, all the rock formation and the fact that people could just probably throw cut logs and stones at them from that distance and whatnot, and other, and probably an aerial advantage also. But just, it's very interesting to see though, because they make it, throughout the rest of the game, they more or less made it sound like you need to have all three factions, the Knights of Saros, the Kingdom Soldiers, and the Lesser Lion Soldiers, fight, you know, merging as one just to equal the Adrestian Empire's military. So I don't know how valid her, her little, um, claim is right here, because it, 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 it kind of contradicts what I've seen in the gameplay so far of this story at least we're not talking about three houses here true on both counts your majesty we took such bold steps to excise those who slither in the dark from the empire knowing full well the price we pay though it meant allowing the archbishop to escape our grasp i would venture to say that we ultimately came out in a better position because of it unquestionably so well i mean that's what you think you haven't even seen the uh... What are they called again? The Lances? Javelins of Light? Whatever the hell they're called in this game? I'm certain Talus and his ilk are dreaming of some villainy as we speak. Speaking of which, the fact they haven't been able to use them must mean they require a lot of magical energy or some other form of uh, power to power those things up. But we're not beholden to them anymore. We are no longer complicit in their schemes. I could not care less what I am or am not complicit in, Lady Edelgard. But I agree, you must not be. For your own sake and the sake of the Empire, it is vital that you remain unsullied and unencumbered. When I proposed such drastic changes to our plan two years ago, I did so against your best counsel. And yet you made it work every step of the way. <clears throat> None of us would be where we are today if not for you, Hubert. I cannot thank you enough. This is quite unlike you, Your Majesty. Are you feeling unwell? Huh. I assure you, I feel ever appreciated. There is no need for you to speak such words aloud. Or perhaps this is meant to soften the blow of yet another drastic change of course? Nothing like that, I assure you. I simply want you to know how much you are valued. I mean, why is he questioning it right now? Pretty... She must not do that often then. This path I walk, I cannot walk it without you. I'm only able to press onward because I have you to open the way. There will always be a place for you by my side. Hmm. Are you certain there are no changes you wish to inform me of? I must insist that you hide nothing from me. What? But I just said I'm not... <sighs> Hubert, 
Are you truly so incapable of accepting a simple word of thanks? I don't know. The guy sure enjoyed killing his own father, for God's sakes. I don't know what the hell's wrong with him. Oh, that was only it? Huh. Okay, never mind. On to the paralogue. Which battlefield are you headed to? Uh, so there's, this one shouldn't be too big. I'm not as overpowered as I was in uh, the other paralogue. Although I, I do admit that I'm surprised Shez did a lot less damage as a freaking mounted unit with a weak weapon. But then again, I don't know how much level ups work in this game. We love you, Manuela! Ah, did you see that? Dorothea looked right at me. They're actually having a play right now? That crowd was amazing. Really? During wartime? I thought they were going to faint on the spot the moment you appeared. Pretty impressive reaction, considering how long it's been since you quit the stage. Don't sell yourself short, Dorothea. Those people were cheering full throat for you as well. That's also a fine reaction, considering you left the songstress life behind nearly two years ago. But time passes quickly. And let me tell you, it has certainly done a number on me. Oh, stop it. Time hasn't diminished your beauty nor your voice. Well, you're very sweet to say so. But we both know I'm getting by with smoke mirrors and the skin of my teeth. <laughs> I'm no longer fit to command the stage. At best, I can serve as a bodyguard to our successors in the Middle Franc Opera Company, as they look to entertain our troops. Yes, well, all kidding aside, we both know it was the current songstress, Adrienne, who received the loudest cheers from the crowd. Adrienne? Um, it'd be rude not to, I mean, it'd be rude to interrupt, but it's also rude just to be in their eavesdropping in their conversation, but whatever. Hey, so, not to bring down the mood, but, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought, I thought she would just came by out of nowhere. I didn't think she was there because they told her to be there. That's kind of weird, actually. I don't know the first thing about opera, and I'm sure you had plenty of people clamoring to keep all of you safe on this little excursion. So, why me? We've already been over this, Dorothea. You and I both know this kind of thing isn't my cup of tea. Actually, your unfamiliarity is the reason we chose you to accompany us. If we brought along a bunch of starstruck fans to serve as escorts, it would end in disaster. I actually agree to this. Sadly, we've learned from experience that people will use any excuse to get close to our singers. Sometimes, they even convince themselves that we've reciprocated their feelings, when we've clearly done nothing of the sort. Alas, we've all had to get quite good at close-quarter combat as a result. The Opera Company was where I learned my dagger skills, though I admit it's hardly the most appropriate weapon for a battlefield. Really? So that's where they- that's where she learned how to actually fight? Because I remember in the Felix support with her, Felix- Felix actually acknowledged she's really good with a sword, but the fact that she learned it there, that they actually, it became a mandatory thing to, to learn is very interesting. And somewhat disturbing, actually. Sounds intense. Yeah, it kind of makes you wonder what the hell happened before all, all those regulations became a standard. Indeed. Behind the glitz and glamour of the stage, swirl all manner of dark desires. But when it works, everyone comes together to beat back the darkness and create something magical. Manner of Dark Desires. Yeah, there are some twisted people out there, I'll admit that. Like most everything else, you just have to take the good with the bad. <sighs> this kind of talk really takes me back. Forgive our intrusion, my lady, but we're ready to begin moving again. We should reach the next town in a little over... Hmm? What's all that racket? Oh, that was an abrupt silence. Sounds like we're up. Already? Don't let them harm any members of the company. Oh no, one of those missions. <sighs> Adrian? Um... Okay, she's a Grimmery, and she's pretty decent leveled. Oh, 
Are they all archers, or am I going to be dealing with some? Okay. Um, just to make things not so bad, I'm going to probably... No, maybe I should change her class. Yes. Don't give me that broken weapon. There, that's better. Did I just give... God, I'm so stupid. Um, well, what else am I dealing with besides archers? Alright, we just gotta change it to a freaking... Should I go bishop or warlock? Might as well go priest since it does more damage. I don't know, I just did that. I was supposed to press downward. Wait, did I give her... Yep. Okay, good. I think it's good. I'm just hoping it's not too hard. Here we go. We must protect the Opera Company. Not a problem. I've got this. Prepare to be amazed. Go for it. Leave this one to me. Make this a performance to remember. <laughs> Are these kidnappers? Thieves? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll send them packing no matter who they are. There we go. Not a problem. People look fancy. And fancy folk always got valuables on them. Oh yeah, country folk? More of them? We better take these guys out. Come on, get over here, all of you. I need you close by. There we go. I've got you now. Not a problem. I've got this. The spotlight is Thank on. You. I can keep going now. Yeah. <laughs> Prepare to be amazed. So where's she going exactly? I'm the star now. Can't go through here yet? Why not? Take a breather. Prepare to be a mate. 
I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just pretty sure I'm just guiding her, but I gotta... So, uh, where, where can I go now? Leave this one to me. That's my... The spotlight is mine. I didn't kill him. What the hell? Oh, there he is. Truly intend to keep up this boorish behavior in front of the Manuela Casagrum. Prepare to be amazed. This gotta be one of those missions. Prepare to be amazed. Encounter with the Sonic's Manuela? Well, this ain't no time for thieving. Oh my god, it's a bloodbath. Leave this one to me. Take a breather. Not a problem. I don't even know where to go anymore. Uh, enter Manuela. Pay attention, class. I didn't kill. I don't believe it. Wait, what? What am I supposed to do? I wasn't even paying attention to the condition. I was just so busy trying to fight all these guys off. Oh. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. My turn. They? Perhaps they can talk some sense into them. Oh, I gotta use the certain characters. Okay. Well, that was really stupid, though. I mean. Yeah, I know. I know I feel that one. This is very interesting. Not a problem. Enter Manuela. Leave it to me. I'll fight to the last. I hope this kills. there. I take 
if you are familiar with the Middlefunk Opera Company, yes? If so, might you be so good as to let us pass? Dorothea! Of course you can pass! I'd do anything for you! It seems your charms have turned even these hardened bandits to jelly. This is on you! Still fight! Oh, Morning showed up. Oh, crap. Leave this one to me. Says, what the hell are you still doing over there? Take a breather. Got this. Prepare to be amazed. The spotlight is mine. I'm the star now. I can do this. All right, Chess, if you're done messing around over there, please come over here and help. They're all over the place. Holy crap, it's like a... Utter war here. Was that all three of them? The next town is so close. One more push, everyone. We must make it through. Leave this one to me. Looks like you could use it. Not a problem. I've got it. Hey! This way, dear. You got it. Come the lady out. Nope, wrong Are person. With pleasure. <laughs> I'm in your debt. Is this it? Is it over? We should be safe now. Singers, go on ahead. So what now? Oh god. They're all over the place. Not a problem. I've got this. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Prepare to be amazed. I'm the star Still now. Still more of them, huh? This wiping them out's our only choice. Leave this one to me. Prepare to be amazed. Ready and prepare to be amazed. Over here, please. How long can this go on? And how many of these oars are there anyway? Have no fear, my dear Manuela. Huh. I have come to rescue you. I'll take you all on. Gentlemen, you 
you caring for me? Oh Am I actually into this? Yes, you are. It's my well and Dorothea in the flesh. Somebody stop me, because I gotta be dreaming. You're so beautiful, Dorothea. Not a problem. I Actually, we just go there right away. It's Manuela. I'd rather be attacking than defending. I still find this whole affair to be very annoying. This reminds me of the battle scenes from our operas. You always were a natural at stage combat, you know? And you were no slouch either, Dorothea. Not a problem. I've got that. Your swashbuckling lit up. Might as well control chest right right now, since I can't even swap out. Oh god, really? Who's not a fanatic here? I've got this. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. No! Enter Manuela. Lucky I turned out this way instead of as a common thief lurking by the side of some dusty highway. Huh. I wonder if that's what really would happen to Dorothea. Leave it to me. Oh, I didn't finish him off. I was a huge fan when I used to live in the capital. Please, let me come with you. Might as well use it as somewhere good, right? That <laughs> didn't kill, though. Oh, might as well use it again. <laughs> Forty four magic. I've got you now. I've got you now. I didn't finish him off. Oh, my God. There we go. Holy crap. That was this a little longer than I, I thought it'd be. Actually fishing, but I still like what we caught. It's it only took 30 to minutes though. Still, still feel long. Really love us. 
especially oh, bandits, apparently. <clears throat> Not quite sure how to feel about that. So far, so good. I think it's a little funny we lose good battalions if we don't get S rank, though. I hope everyone from the Opera Company made it safely to town. We had bandits popping out from every which way, didn't we, Manuela? Indeed. But those rogues were no match for our combined charms. You even managed to woo some of them to our side. I'm impressed. I could never do that. I don't think anyone can, really. Still, why were there so many bandits camped this close to a town? Is it because of the war? Most likely. In a sense. Care to explain that? Of course. You see, towns within the Empire have begun tightening their security for fear of the enemy. And in regions near the front line, such as this one here, there are naturally more soldiers about. That leaves the bandits with no place to go. Sounds like they should just abandon the <laughs> brigands' life and become mercenaries instead. Easier said than done. Take the bandits we just fought. It's not as if they have a chain of command or central organization. They are clearly a group that came together out of common interest and survival, not any manner of grand military ambition. Yeah, they're all just trying to do what they need to do to survive. That's a sad reality, though. Guess that explains why they fought the way they did. All swagger and no plan. In any case, I came the moment I heard about bandit activity in the area. See, Hanneman cares about Manuela. I'm just surprised Manuela hasn't bothered to even con consider him as a potential partner. I mean, he's the only one who could more or less tolerate her, seriously. <laughs> When you think about it, Hanneman's probably the only man in the world who might be able to tolerate Manuela with all her nonsense. I hypothesize the opera company might be targeted, and so rush to your aid. I'm surprised he even nailed that. Well done, Hanneman. That's a more clever course of action than I expected from you. You could have ended that before the second part. <laughs> oh, don't be upset. In fact, you should be pleased I feel comfortable enough with you to speak my mind. Really? It's nice how you two can be so honest with each other. Do you think so? Well, that's certainly a more pleasant way to view things. I love how smart as Hanneman is. He hasn't ever thought about marrying someone, especially Manuela. <laughs> that's exactly how I try to look at it. At least until a certain someone comes along and screws it up. Here we go. All right, knock it off, you two. Oh, never mind. Dorothea stopped them. If you insist on indulging in these sparring sessions, at least have the courtesy to let the rest of us leave the area first. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's leave him to it. No, wait! I apologize! Just please don't leave me alone with this woman! <laughs> oh god, that's funny. I gotta hear it one more time. No, wait! <laughs> I apologize! Just please don't leave me alone with this woman! But Hanneman, she's your soulmate. I'm also sorry. Let's just forget this ever happened and head back as one big happy family. All right? Well, that takes care of that. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be so weirdly... I, I never heard of conditions like this before throughout the whole course of Ashford Gleam and most of the... Most of this path. That was actually interesting to use Fanatics to aid us instead. That's kind of weird. But with all that being said and done, you guys, I just want to say thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Later.